developing this morning, investigators in Chesterfield County say a teenage girl has died in a drowning. It happened yesterday at the Great PD River in Shara. Investigators say a 13 year old girl died after she slipped and fell into the water. Wake up Charlotte's Richard Devane now live for us this morning. And Richard, we, we should say this has mean the third drowning in our area in, in the last week, fourth one we've seen in the last month. And I mean, we're, we're still just on, on, on May 5th at this point. Absolutely correct, Ben. Good morning to you. Good Thursday morning, folks. I'm here at Lake Norman, and we all know that when it gets hotter, more folks take to the water. And unfortunately, the number of tragedies from people who could have taken one simple precaution and did not go up. It's hot and the waters are inviting, but unfortunately, sometimes that dip can prove deadly. A teen drowned Wednesday afternoon in Chesterfield County. It happened around 4 when two 13-year-olds went for a swim in the Petey River in Shara. Officials say the girl slipped and fell into the water. One was able to get out, the other drowned. Her body recovered a short while later. This is the third drowning in the last week and fourth in the last 30 days. On Tuesday, 18-year-old Samara Smith drowned in Lake Lookout. Wildlife officials say Smith and a friend went to the lake and jumped off a dock, but the Hickory High School student didn't come back up. Last weekend, 32-year-old Kadeem McGreer drowned when he jumped off a pontoon boat in Lake Norman. Wildlife officials say it's important to note that in most drowning incidents, one key item could have made the difference between a fun time or a tragic ending. People that, that we see lose their life on the lake don't are not using the proper life preserver. Yeah, they're saying a life jacket, uh, some sort of flotation device, even if you're just jumping off of uh, what might appear to be shallow water, something there to protect you. Also traveling or swimming around other folks. In some cases that happened, but nonetheless, those folks weren't wearing life jackets. We're here in Lake Norman, Richard Devane for Wake Up Charlotte.